Hi friends, today I am going to discuss about uh, pluripotent stem cell. Pluripotent stem cells. Uh, with the help of colony stimulating factor and interleukin 3 from pluripotent stem, stem cell, we get uh, myeloid stem cell. And with the help of interleukin 7, we get uh, lymphoid stem cell. This is the all this comes under. Uh, myeloid lineage and all this comes under lymphoid lineage lymphoid lineage coming to myeloid lineage coming to myeloid stem cell from myeloid stem cell we will get all these uh, cells Um, erythropoietin stimulates uh, myeloid stem cells uh, to give erythroid progenitor and through a series of steps like uh, reticulocytes and many other steps uh, we will get uh, erythrocytes which are also called as uh, red blood cells. And thrombopartin stimulates myeloid stem cell uh, to give megakaryocytes. And with the help of interleukin 11, we get platelets. This is an um, important thing. Interleukin 11 helps in uh, formation of platelets. Coming to coming to uh, basophils, uh, through myeloid stem cell, we will get uh, basophil progenitor cells. Through myeloid stem cell, uh, we get uh, basophil progenitor, and from this we get basophil. And basophil progenitor also gives us mast cells. Mast cells are uh, having some immunity function. We will discuss that. And through my and through myeloid cells, through myeloid stem cell, we also get eosinophil progenitor with the help of interleukin five. And again with the help of interleukin 5, we will be getting eosinophil. eosinophil. And through this uh, myeloid stem cell, we also get a granulocyte or a monocyte progenitor. And this in turn will be divided into a neutrophil and monocyte. Monocyte, uh, we all know it gives rise to macrophages. Macrophages is also having some immune function, and this granulocyte uh, mono, monocyte progenitor also gives us dendritic cells. These also have some immunity effect, and and thus by we will we can conclude the myeloid uh, lineage, and in this myeloid lineage, in this myeloid lineage. Basophil mast cell, eosinophil, and neutrophil. All these four cells are known as uh, granular cells. All these cells are known as granular cells. Uh, mainly, uh, you have to remember basophil, eosinophil, neutrophil are uh, known as granulocytes. And all these cells except uh, erythrocytes and platelets, except erythrocytes and platelets, except erythrocytes and platelets, remaining all these cells like uh, uh, basophil, mast cells, eosinophils, neutrophils, Sorry, not uh, eosinophils. Uh, and all remaining these cells uh, from myeloid uh, lineage for, uh, helps in innate immunity. Except erythrocytes and uh, platelets, all these cells perform, have some innate, innate immunity functions.
all participates in innate immunity coming to our lymphoid stem cells pluripotent stem cells with the help of interleukin 7 gives rise to lymphoid stem cells lymphoid L. If you reverse the L, it will become 7. That's how you can remember this uh, IL7, uh, interleukin 7. This uh, lymphoid stem cell in bone marrow gives rise to B progenitor and T progenitor. And they respectively give rise to B lymphocytes. And it, this T progenitor goes to thymus and differentiates into cytotoxic T lymphocytes and helper T lymphocytes. cytotoxic T lymphocytes and helper T lymphocytes and uh, there is a, a small discussion between these cells B lymphocytes gives rise to plasma cells you have to remember that B lymphocytes are involved in humoral immunity humoral immunity whereas T lymphocytes are involved in cell mediated immunity cell mediated Im immunity B cells are involved in a uh, humoral immunity and T cells are uh, involved in uh, T lymphocytes are involved in cell mediated immunity these are acquired immunity not Im innate immunity and one thing you have to remember from this is natural killer cells NK cells natural killer cells natural killer killer cells are a part of lymphoid lineage these are lymphoid cells but but they have an uh, action in immune innate immunity though natural killer cells are lymphoid in origin they have an action in innate immunity this is the thing you have to remember regarding to uh, natural killer cells Plasma cells are also called memory cells. Memory cells. They help in a, a foster a response to the antibodies, uh, antigens that which are uh, invading our body again. Coming to this uh, cytotoxic and helper T lymphocytes. Helper T lymphocytes. Helper T lymphocytes helps B cells helps B cells to produce antibodies to produce antibodies. Helper T cells have CD4 on their cell wall and they bind to major histocompatibility complex 2. This is something important. Helper T cells have CD4 on their cell wall and they combine with uh, MHC2. Whereas cytotoxic lymphocytes are, have CD8 on their cell walls. CD means cluster differentiation. Um, CD8 on cell walls and they bind to MHC1. This is you have to remember. Cytotoxic cells, CD8, MHC1, helper T lymphocytes, CD4, MHC2. As we already know, cell mediated immunity is a uh, type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. It is a type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. And cytotoxic T lymphocytes, cytotoxic T lymphocytes, the function of uh, the cells is uh, to kill virus infected cells. This is an outline of some of our outline of our video. 
which explains the the ontogeny of immune cells this is the ontogeny of our immune cells what we get what we will be getting from uh, pluripotent cells we have we will get myeloid stem cells and all this comes under myeloid lineage including this dendritic and macrophages whereas whereas in a, a lymphoid lineage we will get all these cells and the most important thing you have to remember here is nk cells are also from lymphoid lineage but they have an action in innate immunity and b cells and t lymphocytes as i already said they are uh, somewhat like acquired immune immunity this is the thing uh, basic thing that we have to remember while studying uh, while studying uh, immunology and hope this helps you in your studies thank you and please subscribe to my channel thank you have a nice day